back to the Nobles Nido and welcome to our five year, five day vacation. So we have taken off five days of work during the week and we are still putting our kids in daycare um, and we are having our own personal staycation where we are gonna hang out and just do things that we couldn't typically do with three kids under three. If you're new around here, we have a three year old, a one year old and a three month old. And uh, we can't really do a lot of stuff that we really love yeah. because they're just not capable of being carted around. Yeah. So we, it's already 3 p.m. on day one and we've spent all day in the bed. Yeah. That was our goal, was to spend all day in the bed, one day in the bed, uh, doing nothing. And just we've done breathing. it. Just breathing with no noise, yes. nobody that needed us. Uh, yeah, it was great. Yeah, it's one of those things that you just can't do all the time though. Like yeah. we're kind of already getting to our wits end right now. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we're out super, of bed. It's super great to just have, have some time and silence and just relax in the bed. But yeah. can't do it every day. And so we already have things planned for the rest of the week, which is great. Yeah. So, so we are about to just do like about an hour of chores that we have to do. And then we're going to go get the kids and end day one. And yeah. then we'll see you tomorrow for day two. Mm. <laughs> but where is here? Sweet Water Creek State Park. Welcome to day two of our anniversary staycation. We are here at Sweetwater Creek State Park, right outside of Atlanta, Georgia, about 25 miles. Yes. And it is an awesome place to hike. Yep. Definitely kid friendly, but the trails that we're going to go on today are not kid friendly. And since our kids are still confined to some type of wagon, we're going to hike this trail without them. Yes. First stop, visitor center for a restroom break and then we'll get to hiking. out our favorite trail is closed we don't know why but that trail takes you by a really cool old mill and then takes you kind of down the bank of the river and across like some rocks and it's just a really fun hike um, so we're a little bummed but we're gonna find another fun thing to do here all suited up went back to the car got our lunch box right and some chairs and we're just gonna go have a nice picnic lunch by the water, the water. <laughs> on the water we're gonna sit on the water like Jesus walked on the water you just pray about it it'll be great it'll be great <laughs> home yes we had a good time did you have fun it was great great being outside in nature you didn't like the bugs they were trying to get me they were always trying to get you uh so this is where we're gonna end today um we're gonna hang out for a little bit and then go get the kids do our normal night routine and we'll see you for day three tomorrow
to day three of our staycation. This morning, or I guess today, we are doing two things that we love. Well, one that I love and one that Bryson loves. So I already drug Bryson to a coffee shop we had never been to before and we had a great time. And now we are doing the thing that he loves, which is playing disc golf. Yes, sir. So we're at a place in Covington, Georgia called Parker's, Parker's Pasture. Pasture. Parker's yeah. Pasture. And we're going to go play some disc golf and yeah. it's going to be a great time. Yeah. Um, if you don't know, disc golf is a phenomenal sport to get your family into. It's super affordable. Yeah. You only really need like, you can play with one disc, but I would recommend buying like a starter pack, which is like $25, $30 and they give you a putter, a mid range and a driver for you to start playing and getting out with your family super affordable yeah and the whole family can get into it you've seen in our videos that Zeke loves to try to throw and put the discs discs into the goal um, or into the basket Baskets. as you call it the basket he's cringing um, so if you are looking for a fun outdoor family activity that is cheap or basically free that is a great one so we're gonna check out this today see if the terrain would be amendable to our wagon and see if yeah. we can bring the kids back in the future so let's go let's go You tired? Yeah. But did you have fun? I had a great time. I wore your bag, which is like easily 10 pounds for exercise. And I've carried it over two miles and I am wiped out. What are you going to do next? Shower and then take a nap. Ooh. <sighs> All right. We have made it home from day three. I am going to shower, wash this greasy hair that I haven't washed in a week. And then we will hang out until it's time to get the kids. So, thanks for hanging out today. We will see you tomorrow for day four. Day four. <laughs> Welcome to day four of our anniversary staycation. I've got on makeup and real clothes. You have on real clothes? No makeup. No makeup. But we're doing a real thing. Where are we going? We're going to Putt Shack. Putt Shack! I have been wanting to play Putt Putt for a while, but like, you know, like the cheesy Putt Putt that you play at the beach kind of thing. But there's this place in Atlanta called the Putt Shack. Yeah. It's an indoor Putt Putt, uh, and they have like a few different courses that are nine holes, but they're really fun and interactive and all indoors. And we get to eat lunch as well. Yeah. So we're gonna, we're a little bit early, but we're gonna head that way now. Um, and we'll take you along for the ride. So we got some putt shack poutine, 
some bao buns, a Caesar salad, and this cute face. Welcome to day five, last day of our anniversary <laughs> staycation. What are we doing today? We, you, you tell them we're walking on some path indicator. Okay, so we are just kind of loafing again today. No, like, giant plans. Yeah. We, we have to do some chores, but... Well, that's not really fun, though. Um, it's not loafing. It's loafing, okay? It's loafing. So we are indicator at this path. There's a giant path system in Atlanta. And we want to walk a certain path that we see all the time on our drive home because we eventually maybe want to start roller skating. Or it'd be great for bikes if the kids decide to um, get into bikes and stuff like that since our area is not really safe for that because cars drive too fast. So we're going to spend this morning walking that. And then I think if we have time, we're going to do the yard today. Which, I mean, that doesn't seem like anniversary fun, but getting it done will be a relief to us. So that's anniversary fun. And then we have to go to my favorite coffee shop to pick up some more beans for the espresso machine, which yep. means I get to also get a cup of coffee there. I get a tea. He gets tea. Iced tea. Um, ladies or gentlemen, if you're a coffee drinker, this is the best thing I've learned in five years. If you're a coffee drinker and you have a spouse that is not a coffee drinker, do not fear. Or just a significant other. Sure. Yeah, if you're in a relationship <laughs> with somebody that is not a coffee drinker, it can be really emotionally taxing and hard because you just want to go to a coffee shop. You want to enjoy a nice cup of coffee together and you feel like you're being robbed of the experience. Fear not. You can bully them enough and they will get into either iced tea or hot tea. Either one. Maybe if they in their, <clears throat> if they don't want to do either of those. <laughs> Usually coffee shops also sell like sparkling waters. Yeah. Or Italian sodas. Yeah. And or treats. If I had not gotten into tea, I probably would have done that. But And you still do sometimes. I, I do. But. Yeah. Anyways, fear not. Keep bullying them. Eventually, you'll be able to have a coffee shop date. Should we go walk? Yes. Let's go. We're back. We're hot. We did 2.66 miles in under an hour yeah. and we burned 174 active calories. My average beat per minute was 99. Pretty good. It was pretty shady out there so it wasn't yeah. extremely bad. Plus the path that we're walking on is partly shaded as well. Yeah. By the foliage. I think that's a great path. It is great. For kids. Yeah. For roller skating. Um, for all the things. It was it was a great little hike. Uh, yeah. I really don't want to go to the yard. We might. We might not. You'll see. No, we have to. You'll see. <sighs> okay, we'll see you for what's next. Bye. We did it. Backyard and front yard looking good. The lawnmower died out there. Probably gonna put it up. I'm gonna charge its batteries. This whole patch right here has something called devil's tomato in it. So we gotta get that taken care of before a kid eats something out of it. I am soaking with sweat. So I'm gonna go shower, and then we're gonna eat some lunch. And then we'll pick you back up when we go get coffee. <laughs> okay well we did the yard and it was exhausting and then we watched two episodes of Ted Lasso mm -hmm. 
and then we hung out just really cool just hung bit. out and then we tried to take a nap and that did not happen so we both laid there so now we're just more tired than we were oh and we showered yeah um obviously so we just went to bellwood and got some coffee and then i got a restock of the beans that i like oh it's upside down best beans the reservoir right here in atlanta best roaster um and now we're gonna go get the kids and we're gonna end this staycation it's been great it's been great you Good. can do it you it's can... a it's definitely just like a worthwhile thing to think about if you're like i don't have money for a vacation but i want to spend time with my significant other maybe you have kids just figure out how to put them in daycare or there might be uh, a place that takes your kids for like a few hours a day and just go and do stuff around your area yeah doesn't have to be fancy mm -hmm. the point is just to i don't know what spend quality time spend quality time <laughs> if that's your thing that's our thing it's our thing so. If not, buy her a yacht. The only other solution. Only other solution. Spend time with her, buy her a yacht. Yeah. Okay, great. Thanks for hanging out. Until next time. Cheers. Bye-bye.